Yes, beloved people here in Kenya and abroad, those who are watching me, my names are Dr. Sakari Kasepoi, Senior Deputy Director of Medical Services here in Kenya, Professor of Medicine and Surgery at Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital. I'm a consultant surgeon and urologist. I've been consulted in various hospitals in this town of Eldoret and also outside Eldoret. Precious people, today I'm going to talk about an issue, a shocking, an amazing phenomenon, a stunning one that has never been written anywhere, never been heard anywhere. I'm the one who is presiding over this shocking phenomenon, amazing phenomenon of Mama Rosa. Precious people, I've been recording stepwise progress of the decomposing dead corpse that resurrected. Let me repeat again. These are decomposing dead corpse that resurrected by the name of Mama Rosa. Never been written anywhere, never been written in any surgical books. This Swartz Principle of Surgery, ninth edition. There's nowhere in all medical books that I've come across where a dead body has resurrected. In fact, death by definition is a terminal thing, it's irreversible. And therefore what I'm talking about today is reversal of death. Somebody who had decomposed and resurrected. And therefore, since I certified the death and resurrection of Mama Rosa, I've been recording stepwise the recovery processes of this person, of this precious lady. Precious people, when Mama Rosa died, I was among, I was privileged to be among or to be within or to be available to witness how she looked like when she immediately resurrected from death. I found her when she was smelling, she was rotten. In fact, that smell would hit you as you enter the door. It was stingy. It was a characteristic smell of death. And you know what I'm talking about because as I go to the mortuaries to do postmortems, that characteristic smell is only found in the mortuaries. And when I enter that door of Mama Rosa, when she resurrected, that characteristic smell hit me and I knew, surely this person must be dead. It's only because of the breathing movements that alerted me that she was alive. But the stench of smell was so bad, the odor was very characteristic of a dead person. The breathing in her was very bad. Full smelling, stingy smell. That smells like a rotten piece of meat. And I knew that for sure this lady had rotten intestines. Because when you die, it takes very short time for all your organs to rot, to decompose because of the autolysis. The eyes were bob because of the blood had bobbed out. The eyes were had bobbed out. The tongue was swollen, had filled the mouth because of the decomposing tissues and the bloating from the gas being released by the bacteria, the decomposing bacteria. When I looked at her at that time, the skin was very dark. The characteristic skin, the characteristic color of death was very dark and hard. For sure, when I looked at her, she looked more of a corpse than a living person. Dead corpse. It was very smelly, very stingy, and the skin was dark. The lower limbs were edematous, were swollen. Her eyes were white. She was pepper white. And when I looked at her, she was wasted. She had a dark and, and stiff like wood. She was wood like stiff. All her joints were rigid. In other words, she had undergone the full cause of ricomotis. The full cause of ricomotis that occurs during death because of lack of adenosine triphosphate that causes relaxation and contraction of muscles. So this lady for sure was rigid like wood, was stingy, was smelly. The dependent parts of the body were swollen. The tongue was filling, the mouth was swollen. The eyes were, had popped out. It was very scary to look at her. 
the bones are very visible and prominent. And when I recorded the progress in this lady, to my surprise, I, I learned that, in fact, she was not seen and she was not hearing anything. For six days, she was not able to hear anything or see. Her eyes were wide open, but she could not perceive anything. This lady, the, the words that she mentioned was Nani Ameni Rhodesia. And from that time, henceforth, she did not speak again. She, was, she slept most of the time for three days. She was sleeping. She did not eat anything. In fact, we forced her to eat, but whatever we gave her, we tried to give her milk, half a cup of milk, and she threw all out. She vomited. This lady, the intestines were rotten. That's why she could not tolerate any food. She could not take anything. She was so sick that I wanted to rush her. The instinct in me, I wanted to rush her to an ICU. In fact, this somebody, this a patient who was supposed to be in an ICU setting, not even a hospital ward, but in an ICU. And when I wanted to rush her to ICU, then I remembered that this is a person who was dead and resurrected because of the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. That is the authority that brought this lady back from death to life. The authority, the words spoken by him who is in this land, who mentioned, who said only three words, that it is well. And those are the words that brought this lady back to life. And when she came back to life, she asked, who brought me back? And in Kiswahili, she said, Nani Ameni Rhodesia. Two times. And the answer she was given was, Yeso Ameku Rhodesia. In other words, Jesus has brought you back. And since that time, she never mentioned any words. For three days, she did not eat anything. For three days, she was asleep. And on the fourth day, that's when she started taking liquids, started taking liver and ate something. So for all those three days, it's a wonder that she was not eating anything but her life. Beloved people, what surprises me most as a doctor and as a surgeon with more than 21 years of experience in this field, approaching 22 years, is that when you cut the blood supply to your brain three to five minutes, it's dead. You go to a state, we call it brain dead, irreversible brain dead. In other words, you don't reverse the death of the brain. So what surprises me, and it's a sign and a wonder to me, is that how did the brain of this lady recover? How was she able to recover the functions of the brain? Because we know once you have brain death, that's the end of you, that's the end of the brain, it's irreversible. Neurons don't regenerate. Once your neurons have gone, the astrocytes have gone, they don't regenerate again. That's the end of that brain. And therefore, it's a wonder that this lady, on the sixth day, since I recorded all in my diary, in my surgeon's diary, my surgeon's journal, I recorded all here and all is written here. I recorded everything that happened in this lady because I was so interested. I was surprised in the first instance. I was shocked to hear that a dead person, a dead body, that was smelling, that was decomposing, resurrected. And therefore I was, I took keen interest in all that was happening in her body. And after six days, that's when her vision came back. She was able to see. That's when, that's when her hearing came back. And she was able to speak and taste something. She told us, now I can taste this food. It tastes, it tastes as if there's excess salt. That's when we were surprised that she, all this time when we were feeding, on the fourth day, she was not able to know what she was eating because she could not see and she could not taste. Therefore, I wondered how did her dead brain come back to normal? How was she able to recover her vision? How was she able to recover back her hearing? Let me take you back. When she resurrected, she sneezed and coughed. And for sure, any dead person, the lungs would have collapsed. The alveolar had collapsed, we call it atelectasis, and I'm sure there were a lot of secretions in the airway. She sneezed three times and brought out a lot of secretions, then she started breathing.
that breath of life to me is what changed everything. It's the game changer. That breath of life that came to her brought life. The lungs expanded. The brain came back to normal. And the cardiovascular system beloved the people. When you shut off blood to the heart, oxygen to the heart, the myocardium dies. You get what we call myocardial ischemia. And once you are dead, muscles, your heart muscles are dead, they are dead. They don't recover, they don't regenerate. And the sign of arterial node was able again to, 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 to generate the impulses that excites the entire heart to beat in a regular manner. And to me, I don't know whether I will say regeneration of the heart muscles or a new heart. This lady must have received a new brain, new lungs, new heart for her to come to normality the way she is today. Because after six days, her memory came back, the short term memory. She was able to remember people. She was able to mention, to call her children by name. She was able to call her, to call her husband and recognize her husband by name and be able to see things on the sixth day. So to me, this is a big miracle, a sign and wonder that has never been recorded anywhere. We have never recorded anywhere where irreversible brain death comes back to normal, to life. This lady, she was so stiff, stiff as wood. But over time, remember, for the first three days, she was asleep. She could not be able to even speak. But on the fourth day, two people would hold her to sit down and another one to feed her. This has improved tremendously now that on the seventh day she was able to feed herself. Remember that for the first, the first one week she was being fed. The first one week she was being held to sit on the bed. She could not sit on herself. She had lost all her milestones. This was a dead corpse that resurrected. She lost all her milestones. She lost her vision, she lost her hearing, she lost even her musculoskeletal system. Her muscle power had gone down. She could not sit. And she continued recovering stepwise and stepwise. On the sixth day, as I said, her memory came back. The short-term memory, but not the long-term memory. For the first time since she resurrected, remember that this lady was feeding. She was eating from the fourth day. But she did not go to the washrooms. That was a surprise to me. In other words, the gastrointestinal system was dead and was recovering, was resurrecting slowly by slowly. I think from the smell that was emanating from her breath, you could tell that the intestines were dead. And therefore it took time for the peristalsis to come back, to be able to push and digest the meals downstream. So, after two weeks, I clearly documented it here on my book, that after two weeks, I've been, I was waiting eagerly to know what will happen when she goes to the washroom for the first time, when she will be able to relieve herself. My expectations were to be very difficult for her to relieve herself after all that time. I thought she would experience constipation, severe constipation. And I thought she would need an enema or a stool softener. But to my surprise, she relieved herself normally, no problem. In fact, it was, it was not a big issue to her. That was a very big surprise to her and a big relief to me. On the seventh day, let me take you back, she coughed a bit. And I was really worried that this cough, does it signify that the lungs have not expanded fully? That does she still has atelectasis? So I took her to a hospital for a chest x-ray, just to find out how do their lungs look like. The medical instinct in me said most probably the lungs are not fully expanded, or there was a lot of secretions in the lungs, or there is a telectasis. And when we took the chest x-ray, to my surprise, to my astonishment, the chest x-ray the chest x -ray looked normal. The lungs were fully expanded, very normal. And to me, it looked like this lady had new lungs looked like as if the creator who creates who created us, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator who created all living beings and all living things, seen and unseen, must have created new body in this lady, in Mama Rosa. 
the creator must have created a new heart, must have created a new brain, must have created new lungs. That's why she had perfect life. She did not go to ICU as I expected. I thought for sure this lady was going to go to an ICU. Precious and beloved people, when you are dead, the acid balance in you goes haywire. You develop what we call metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis. But this lady, there was no corrective measures that we did to her. We did not give her bicarbonate. But her pH came back to normal. Her metabolic, metabolic acidosis, respiratory acidosis, came back to normal. Her electrolytes came back to normal. I expected it to be very bad, but came back to normal given the way she was recovering, stepwise, in a sure and steady recovery. When somebody dies and the, there's no circulation of the blood, it usually clots in the blood vessels. I'm sure this lady, the entire blood vessels in the body had clogged with blood. There was blood clots. How those blood clots were broken and the blood became fresh again to continue taking oxygen and the nutrients to the entire body is a shock to me, stunning to me. I cannot explain, but what I know is that the Lord, the creator of heaven and earth, must have created new blood also in her. Because how do you break up a cloth in the entire system and create new blood, fresh blood, that will be able to circulate oxygen around your body? To me, that's a big surprise. I was privileged to be in the National Bishops Council meeting that was in Nairobi. I was called to give a testimony of how Mama Rosa, who had died and resurrected, was recovering. Therefore, in that meeting, Mama Rosa, when I, when I was leaving home to, to that meeting, because I brought Mama Rosa to a specific place where I always monitor. Every day I make sure that I monitor any changes in her body. And whatever new changes happens, I usually record in my book. So I had the privilege of knowing exactly what was going on in Mama Rosa's body. Then when I was called to Nairobi, Mama Rosa had not walked. Mama Rosa was still being carried. If you remember, that's what's after this being circulated. Mama Rosa was carried from one position to another position. She was not able to walk. But at this time, she had sat on herself, not being supported. So the mightiest prophet of the Lord told us that she had seen how Mama Rosa is walking. I was surprised, but I knew Mama Rosa was not going to walk that soon. So when the mighty prophet of the Lord described to us how he has seen Mama Rosa walking, to me, I thought it would be two weeks down the line. But to my shock, the following day, that was on a Friday, I was seated in the upstairs of my room, and Mama Rosa was in another room downstairs and it was around exactly 2 42 p.m that was on a friday 7th of july 2017 i heard noise coming from down people were shouting and to me i was i was scared i thought mama rosa most probably had collapsed had fell from her bed and needed at my attention so i ran i ran down very fast expecting to see the worst of mama rosa when I went down, I found Mama Rosa walking. It was a big surprise to me. In fact, I joined in the celebration. I joined the shouting. I joined the joy of celebration. It was a reflex celebration because I expected Mama Rosa to be seated on the bed or lying on the bed. But when I found her walking, I joined in the celebration. Joyous celebration. It was an unspeakable joy. And when I finished the celebration, then the thought of the mightiest prophet of the Lord came back to me. For sure, Mama Rosa was walking exactly the way the mightiest prophet of the Lord had demonstrated to us in Nairobi. That was a big shock to me. Then I realized, who is this person walking amongst us? Who could foretell things that happen tomorrow? For sure, this is the person that had the authority to resurrect Mama Rosa and again was able to foresee what was going to happen 
the following day. And Mama Rosa exactly walked stepwise the way the man of God had described in Nairobi. Precious people, the joints started to soften up. If you look at her shoulders, on that WhatsApp picture, you'll find that the, the shoulders are rigid, the hands are crossed across, very rigid. Full, she had undergone full cause of ricomotis, but started to soften up. In fact, since that day when she started walking, she has been improving steadily and gradually. Now she can be able to move her shoulders, which are rigid and fixed. This lady, for sure, since she resurrected, the, the, the progress has been slow. The reversal of death has been slow and sure. The, the process of recovery was slowed down a bit, but she's recovering. Now the long-term memory came back on the two weeks down the line. That was on 8th of 7th when he was talking to her. She remembered things. That was on 8th of July 2017. She remembered things that had happened 10 years ago. She told us the stories of her childhood. That's a very big surprise to me. Stunning surprise, a shock, amazing that somebody who had brain dead was able to have her neurons back and all the memory being brought back. In fact, she told us all with fine details of what had happened 10 years ago when she was young, where they were living before, before they moved to a new place, how her children were, how she gave birth to her children. All the fine details. And another enigma, beloved people, is that this Apokot lady who, did knock, who didn't know Kiswahili, the only language she knew was her native language of Pokot. The first Kiswahili she talked once was when she resurrected and asked, Nani Ameni Rhodesia? That's in English is who has brought me back. And the answer she was given back was, Yeso Ameko Rhodesia. Jesus has brought you back. She asked that twice and she was given the answer the same twice. And after that she didn't speak any other Kiswahili deal these two weeks where she started now speaking fluent Kiswahili. That's an enigma I cannot explain. Somebody who didn't know Kiswahili, now she's speaking a new language. Apart from the full memory, all the information has been brought back to her brain. Now she another language has been added unto her. In fact, when she spoke over the radio, Jesus is Lord Radio, her Kiswahili was fluent. And remember, this is a lady who didn't know Kiswahili. She didn't, know, she didn't go to school. And therefore, the only language she knew was her native language of Kipokot. But now she's speaking Kiswahili fluently and she's improving day by day. That's a shocking revelation that I cannot explain. How do you explain that somebody who did not another language has now learned a language instantly? She didn't go to school. Beloved people, let me summarize. Let me put it in this way as I come to a conclusion of this shocking phenomena, stunning phenomena, sign and wonder of our times, that if I was to write a book, it will be voluminous books, more than Schwartz's Principles of Surgery. I'm sure I will take one system or one organ to describe how the brain came back to normal that usually doesn't come back to normal. I will write about the cardiovascular system, I will write about the central nervous system. I will write about the musculoskeletal system. How a tissue the rare, that never comes back when somebody is dead has come back to life. For sure, Mama Rosa was a dead corpse. She was supposed to be buried. She was smelling. She was a smelling dead corpse. But resurrected out of the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord. And therefore, I ask myself, who is this walking amongst us? There, that there is in the entire land, in the entire universe, in the entire planet, we have never heard of a dead corpse resurrecting. And therefore, this authority that resurrected a dead corpse must have come from the Creator through the mightiest prophet of the Lord. And therefore, he who is amongst us must be feared. 
since 2004, I knew that there was a prophet in the land. I knew that there was a voice in the land. But I had never come to my senses. It had never come to my mind that this is the most powerful prophet in the land who authorizes the dead to come back to life, who authorized every organ in the body to come back to life. And now Mama Rosa is alive, is walking. And therefore we need to honor he who is walking amongst us. We need to respect him. We need to fear him. And we need to obey all that he is saying. I went back and found out this mightiest prophet of the Lord, what has he been saying since he came to our land, to this continent, to this planet? He has been saying, repent for the Messiah is coming soon. Repent and be holy, the Messiah is coming soon. And therefore, this authority that comes from him must be an authority from the Lord. And therefore, whatever he says, precious people, beloved people, must be from the Lord. Because the only giver of life as a doctor is God himself. No doctor have ever brought anybody to life, whether in the developed countries or wherever continent you mentioned or wherever country. Nobody has ever brought life from a dead corpse. But in this case, the authority of the mightiest prophet of the Lord was able to resurrect a dead corpse. Thank you very much. And beloved people, this is a new phenomenon called resurrection. It's not found anywhere in the medical literature. It's not found anywhere, and I didn't come across in my medical school. And therefore, as a surgeon, I took in and rest and recorded everything that happened in this body that resurrected in Mama Rosa. And this process of recovery post resurrection I've clearly described them in my daily journal. And therefore it has shocked me, it has shocked us, it has shocked us in the entire medical fraternity. And I would welcome all my colleagues, wherever they are, that you can come and we do our research. Because we have never come across such a phenomena where a dead body, a rotting dead body, a corpse, decomposing corpse, comes back to life. And as we speak now, she's well, she's, she's not in any danger anymore. In fact, she's eating, she's walking, although she's still slowly, she's still recovering. Some of the joints are still stiff a bit, but the shoulders now are lighter. She can walk without support. She can go, da she can go down stairs without being assisted. And therefore, precious, beloved people, I just want to say one thing that God is real. God brings us, if we believe in him, back to life. And we have a prophet sent by God himself to us, to the entire world, to speak unto us and to perform such a wonder and a sign so that us as humans we could listen to him. Because in the entire world, and I challenge you, if you know of a case as Mama Rosa that has resurrected, please let us know. Because as far as I'm concerned, there is nobody who had died and decomposed that has come back to life. Therefore, I fear this mighty prophet of the Lord. I fear him so much and I refer him so much and I want to do all that he says to us because I want to enter heaven. Heaven is real. Because somebody that can resurrect life, that person must be controlling the life of people. And therefore I fear God so much and I refer his mightiest prophet of the Lord who has brought a decomposing corpse back to life. Thank you so much. Beloved people, this is an amazing story, a stunning story. Has never been ever been done anywhere in any research institution. No life has ever been brought back. No dead corpse have ever been brought back in any hospital, in any research institution, in any facility, medical facility. And therefore, this a shocking phenomena, stunning phenomena that has turned the tables down in the medical field. That now our eyes 
have been open to find out who is this that can bring back death to life because we have never and we have never imagined or dreamt of bringing a dead corpse back to life and therefore this is a reality of our age this is a reality of our times this is a sign and wonder of our times that our dead corpse have been brought back to life by the authority of the mightiest prophet of the lord thank you so much